Around three years ago, I was playing on a world when he had just hit hard mode in Terraria. The next step, logically, would have been to smash altars, then to mine the hard mode ore to make anvils and armors and such things. However, breaking an altar grants a two-thirds chance to spawn a random corrupted or hollowed block somewhere in the world, a risk my former pure self couldn't take. So, the decision was made. To get all the hard mode ore we needed, particularly for the Mithril Anvil and Adamantite Forge, we were going to fish it out of crates. In the end, we never fished up that forge, and because of that, the world was abandoned. After all, you can't make Chlorophyte or anything up to Luminite without an Adamantite Forge, and I wasn't going to go the rest of the game in hollowed armor. That 30 Adamantite ore titanium was just too rare. Now, I've wondered, how long would that really take? Obviously, fishing, especially crates, has changed since 1.4, and when I played that world, 1.4 hadn't come out yet. Therefore, there will be two sections of this video, which will be chaptered. In 1.4, they changed the crates in comparison to 1.3. The new hard mode titanium crate gives 30 to 44 adamantite or titanium ore, and a chance of 5%, so only one crate is needed. Now, we just need to figure out what the chance of getting a titanium crate is. This depends on your fishing power, which depends on how good your gear is in the time of day, as well as the moon phase and weather. The absolute maximum base fishing power obtainable in the game is 160, combining every single possible bonus allowed before any environmental bonuses. More realistically, a setup for someone actually looking to do this in early hard mode would have, say, 100 base fishing power, which just includes the base angler armor, fishing potion, a mechanics rod, and enchanted nightcrawler bait. That would be a fairly mediocre setup for an experienced fisher, but still ahead of someone who just decided to fish today. I've decided not to include any environmental factors because they are unpredictable and generally should even out over time. I can't predict the weather in your terraria world after all. Now let's get going. Crates always have a 10% chance of dropping, or 20% chance of dropping with a crate potion on. A titanium crate will only drop on an extremely rare or very rare catch, which have a total chance of 6.767% at 100% fishing power, or 10.71% chance at 160% fishing power. Assuming you aren't dumb and drink a crate potion, that's a 1.35% or 2.14% chance for a titanium crate, for an average of 74 or 47 catches until one is caught. Now, time for catch frequency. Using this formula for catch frequency, you can calculate that at 100% fishing power, there's a catch every 1.737 seconds or 1.274 seconds at 160% fishing power. Assuming it takes you one second from the catch to when the bob hits the water again, that makes 22 or 26.3 catches per minute. That's 3 minutes 21 seconds, or 1 minute 47 seconds until one is statistically caught. At 5%, that's your final calculation of 1 hour 7 minutes at 100% fishing power, or 35 minutes 40 seconds at 160% fishing power. Of course, we have to account for the line break, which is a 1 out of 7 chance. This doesn't occur with the high test fishing line, which is 160% fishing setup definitely has. This slows our 100% fishing power setup down to 1 hour 40 minutes 30 seconds. That's really slow, but not entirely that bad. However, 1.3 is far crueler. I'll only be conducting this calculation to stuff I actually had at the time, which is the mechanics rod with crate potions and enchanted nightcrawlers, as well as one piece of angler armor. How sad. This gives us a pitiful 70 fishing power, though this may be partially beneficial for reasons explained later. In 1.3, ores can only come from wooden crates, a total chance of 1 out of 14 or 7.14%. Since you need either 30 adamantite or titanium, and we can't mix the two, you'll need to get only one type of this ore exclusively. This means in a single wooden crate we have a tiny 1 out of 84 chance to get 8 to 20 ore. Since the number of ore given is so variable, it will need 4 drops at the maximum or 2 drops at the minimum to get the ore we need. Therefore, we'll have a range of estimates at the end. A wooden crate will generate if no other crates override it, so taking all the probabilities gives us a 63.7% chance to get a wooden crate, given a crate roll, which is actually quite high. With a crate potion, that's 7.85 catches per wooden crate. At 1 out of 84 chance, that's 659 catches per drop, or 1,318 to 2,636 catches for a complete set of four. Putting ourselves through the catch formula, we can get 2.12 seconds per catch, and with our previously added meat delay, 3.12 seconds per catch. Factoring in our 1 out of 7 chance of the line breaking, that's just about 1 hour 20 minutes on the low end, and 2 hour 40 minutes on the high end. What's funny is that since wooden crates occupy the lowest rarity tier of drop, our low fishing power actually gives us a higher chance for a wooden crate, at the cost of some catch speed. So, if you're willing to cop up 30 or 50 crate potions you would need to maintain fully buff, yeah, it's not that slow. Either way, it would be painfully excruciating given that Terraria fishing gives you almost no engagement, unlike the more familiar, at least to myself, Skyblock or Minecraft fishing, which I've done for hours on end. At the very least, I don't think my past self would have been able to stand 4 hours of straight fishing, given that we didn't have any crate potions at the time too. Compared to the 10 or so minutes it would have taken you just to mine it, perhaps it would have been simpler just to smash an altar.
It's also RNG based, of course, so you better prepare your offerings to our Lord and Savior, RNG Jesus, if you actually want this to turn out well. I guess it's just a test of patience for those of you stupid or masochistic enough to fish for that long.